Welcome to day 9 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, that's day 26 in the Eastern Pacific and we currently have two storms still going, well Extratropical Storm Andrea, Post Tropical Storm Andrea is uh, still going through uh, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland at the moment and we also have a new storm, Tropical Storm Yagi, which is in the Western Pacific Philippine name is Danta, uh, June the 9th as of midnight these, this is the current situation. No invest currently out there, just the two storms. Yagi there, um, the international name there assigned. And that's going to head off to the north, northeast, or towards the northeast, towards Japan over the next few days. There'll be a tracking uh, map on that one in a moment. Uh, that one formed earlier today after it was looking fairly impressive for the past day or two. Uh, and here's the Atlantic view. You can see uh, Extratropical Storm Andrea. This image is a few hours old. You can see it just over Nova Scotia at that point. It's uh, just about to reach the end of Nova Scotia and then onto Newfoundland and then beyond to the Atlantic Ocean. We also have a little bit of a disturbance down in the Gulf of Mexico that you saw just for a brief moment, uh, which has a near zero percent chance of development at this time. In the Indian Ocean, there are no areas of interest at the moment, uh, just a few flare ups here and there, but nothing that's uh, a serious contender for intensification or development into a tropical storm. Looking at the current surface temperatures, the sea surface temperatures, you can see the eastern Pacific still warm, 30 degree waters in one or two areas. The Gulf of Mexico is still largely warm except for the Florida coastline where temperatures are around the threshold of 26 degrees. The Gulf Stream still going strong with 28 degree waters over many parts of that. And you can see the North Indian Ocean perhaps a little bit cooler than what it's been recently except for the eastern coast of India which is warming up slightly again to around 30 degrees Celsius and uh, the waters near the Philippines and such still staying warm over there too. Here's Tropical Storm Yagi, currently with wind speeds of 40 miles per hour as of 9pm UTC June the 8th, with a pressure of 996 millibars in position of 18.9 north, 130.9 east. Here's the track for it, uh, remaining a tropical storm, yeah, that's expected over the next 48 hours, 72 hour point there as it approaches Japan and perhaps makes landfall in Japan as a tropical storm around four days from now. There is a small chance of the storm becoming a typhoon in this time. And here's extra tropical storm Andrea, still some rainfall and flood warnings in effect for parts of Nova Scotia and Newfoundland at the moment. Uh, this, this one is slightly old, the storm's probably passed off to the northeast a little bit more than the graphic shows, but you can see the track forecast where it's expected to go out into the Atlantic Ocean and then curve to the north after it passes the Azores and approaches um, Ireland in around three days time. Then it's expected to either um, swing back into the North Atlantic or move off to the northeast towards the Arctic. Uh, here's Tropical Storm Yagi, Philippine named Anta. Uh, there it is heading towards the north northeast at the moment. Uh, there's the Philippines off to the left. Now uh, that's the region where it formed, that's why it's got the Philippine name attached to it as well. And that's expected to move off to the north northeast or northeast uh, generally over the next few days, passing the Japanese uh, Daito Islands and then eventually reaching the mainland. And here's post tropical storm Andrea, the uh, floater imagery here. This is only an hour or two old as of the video upload time. You can see the centre of the storm just moving over Nova Scotia there on those last few frames. And uh, it's moving very quickly, so there's not actually that much in the way of rain causing flooding anymore. Um, but uh, obviously, it's still moving with wind speeds of 45 miles per hour and as well as its forward motion of around 40 miles per hour. The CMC here not developing any further storms as far as I can see, at least of tropical nature. Uh, there's the ECMWF with uh, Andrea well gone at that point. Um, perhaps a little bit of a system there in the Atlantic there, I didn't see that properly. Um, but apart from that there doesn't seem to be any sort of storms forming in the tropics over the next few days according to those two models and I'm guessing the other ones will follow suit. Uh, the GFS model there has a few low pressure systems out in the northeast of the United States and into Canada, um, which is fairly normal with the ex tropical systems there moving out to sea. No tropical systems over that time. The NavGem, you can see, takes um, Andrea well off to the north, and it also predicts a little bit of a system forming in the eastern Pacific. Doesn't look like much intensification or development on that one now. Predictor season scores as of June the 9th, 2013. Uh, I'd imagine a lot of these scores will have gone down with lots of zeros predicted, but at the moment I haven't got around to updating the leaderboard yet uh, in light of Tropical Storm Yagi forming in the Western Pacific. That's obviously um, 2 to the Western Pacific now, 2 0 0. 
in terms of the storm totals so make sure you put that in and keep that in mind when you're predicting you can submit your storm totals at 413.com forward slash interactive.html just search uh, just go on to the predictor season 2013 page and submit your totals and submit them and then um, they'll be updated in due course so what happened on this day on june the 9th then in 1966 hurricane alma made its second landfall near Appalachia bay florida as a category one storm with winds of 90 miles per hour six fatalities and 110 million dollars in damages in 1969, Tropical Depression 7 made landfall in Florida. In 1976, Tropical Depression 2 turned post tropical in the Atlantic. Tropical Depression 3 formed in the Eastern Pacific in 77. Tropical Storm Agatha and Barbara formed in the Eastern Pacific in 1980 and 83. In 1987, Tropical Storm Adrian dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. In 1995, Tropical Depression Ellie dissipated in the Western Pacific. In 1997, Tropical Storm Blanca formed in the Eastern Pacific. Now Guri turned post tropical in the Western Pacific in 2002. Constant peaked as a Category 3 storm in 2004. Arlene made landfall near Cabo Corrientes, Cuba in 2005. And in 2011, Tropical Storm Sarica formed in the Western Pacific. And Hurricane Adrian peaked as a Category 4 storm in the Eastern Pacific. <laughs> we got through those. And don't forget, you can track any storm that forms on the Force 13 website. Just go to force13.com forward slash stormtracking.html. That includes uh, the post Tropical Storm Andrea and, of course, Tropical Storm Yagi in the Western Pacific and any other storm that forms this year. On the website, just search uh, Force 13, you'll find it fairly easily. Basin by Basin, and of course on the social pages as well. YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, just search Force 13, and you should find it fairly easily enough. Don't forget to show your support by subscribing, liking, favouriting, following, and whatever else uh, you can do on these social media these days. But there you have it. Um, and also there's another bulletin coming up tomorrow at the same time at around midnight UTC on Monday morning. That would be the 10th of June. And there'll be a bulletin probably in the middle of the day on Sunday, 9th of June, for Tropical Storm Yagi. For now, that's it.